I think the, uh, the story of the Latino Community Credit Union is one of the most fascinating stories uh, in this country of, of immigrant integration. I have witnessed the, the true empowerment of a community that had been disenfranchised and that was under attack. You know, the credit union started because folks were being robbed. I mean, we were, they call us walking banks or walking ATMs. People carry cash after, you know, payday on a Friday afternoon. The criminal element knew that, you know, to rob a Mexican, an immigrant, uh, they would carry cash with them. They would not report the crime to the authorities for fear of, of immigration and for fear of police. I mean, the community really says we need to, to put an end to this. And that's exactly what happened in, in, in Durham, June 26th of, of 2000, uh, when the, the first Latino credit union got chartered in North Carolina. So it's not just a bank or financial institution, but a, a community-owned financial institution that provides uh, education, financial education, uh, classes, access to affordable and, and accessible financial products, the products that immigrants need. Um, and people see the, the impact of that. And we have ended being a model of how to get new immigrants, new Americans into the financial system in the United States. If, when immigrants come here, they the first generation is generation of sacrifice. With the language you don't understand, but you want to provide better for your kids. But when you have access to, to credit, when you have access to financial products, this dream doesn't need to wait one generation. This dream may begin with the first family, the immigrants coming here, because now they can be homeowners, something that they never dreamed in the, in their, back in their countries. And they can be entrepreneurs, and they can understand to use different products. So the whole, the whole mentality of the immigrant changed. A few years later, we began with our credit card, we began with our mortgage program, we began with our small business loans, and we keep evolving and we're gonna keep listening to, to our owners. I mean, that's part of our, that's the beauty of this financial institution, where we don't do things intended in, in our own benefit, it's intended in the benefit of, the, of our membership. This is a country that the, here there is no problem for having access to l credit. There is a lot of credit. The problem is having access to uh, ethical credit. Credit that really is intended to help you to reach your goals. And when we see that, when people are able to pay their cars back, when they're able to use uh, credit cards and now they, and they feel comfortable not abusing and not getting into deep debt that eventually can break them, People are able to dream and to realize that they can own their own houses. And we have this small credit union serving low-income immigrants with the lowest delinquency rate in the whole country. With, we are able to, to keep our, our, our families in their houses because we educate them, we, we find the right product for them to buy their houses. And sometimes the right product is to tell them, you are not ready, so you shouldn't buy your house now. Basically, we reflect who are, what are the, uh, the demographics of our own community. 95% uh, of our members are uh, low-income individuals, at least when they join us. And 75% of our members, when they join us, they never had a, fun, a relationship with a finance institution before in their lives. Not just here in the United States, but even in our country of origin. Uh, these numbers shouldn't be surprised for anybody because back in Mexico, two-thirds of the country don't have bank accounts. People have the perception that banks are only for rich people. Um, this model, this cooperative model where all of us receive benefits when we don't discriminate in prices, when it's the same prices for everybody. And that sounds silly for many financial institutions because they don't do it. Usually you charge more with people with less resources. In our mentality, there is no, we don't see a good explanation why if somebody charge you more for a loan, you're gonna be able to pay it better. So why don't we charge the same to everybody? Don't penalize people for being poor, for not have access to, to wealth in their families or in their networks. 
We've been named the fastest growing credit union in the history of this country. We have uh, spread around the state and now we have 10 locations to serve our members. Uh, we did that as a response for the request from our community. They, they, they want more convenience, they want more locations. The Latino Community Credit Union really is just such a, a fascinating program and a fascinating story. You know, they, uh, to think that in the midst of the recession where all around us we see uh, all these, you know, really uh, bad practices, um, you know, in the banking industry and in the mortgage uh, and lending industry, uh, to have this model come uh, to, to national attention at this time is really uh, uh, just a, a wonderful story, both in terms of how to provide those services, not to mention from an immigrant integration point of view. So it was very attractive to the, uh, to the advisory board that was looking, uh, uh, guiding the whole competition, both the fact that they were reaching such extraordinarily large numbers, I think almost 52,000 members, that they have so many people that are traditionally traditionally unbanked and don't have access to services that help them build credit, help them get uh, small loans for their businesses, help them get mortgages at a reasonable, uh, at a fair rate, et cetera, et cetera. All of those things were happening uh, in addition to having a, a financial literacy program that is uh, really a national model that many, many people are picking up. Uh, so, and, and on top of all these things that they're, uh, that they're doing for the community, it's a, it's a member-owned institution. So uh, really just the, the ethics almost of it for the community, where everything they're doing is tied to the community, understanding its needs, uh, to sharing profit with the members, et cetera, et cetera. It's, uh, it's a pretty extraordinary story.